Hello and good evening. Welcome back to my channel, Big Buds Gaming. We have an update video. This is an update video for the ITSI ITS ITSI skid steer, the Klitsi. And in my first video, I showed it only had one attachment, which was the bucket. But I was actually wrong. There's actually a few more attachments for it in weights you will find three different types of rear weights the first one is a plain weight these can be stacked multiple times to increase the weight there's a weight with a hook that can be attached to the other weights and this that there's just a bumper with a hook alone there is also a lawnmower in the lawnmowers category which we'll take a look at towards the end of the video. So we're just going to connect it to the weight, the, the plain plate for now. Not so I can manoeuvre this thing. I really, really hate articulated steering. I absolutely detest it. And on a small vehicle like this, it's just so pointless. So anyway, that's to show you can stack two or more of the little plain weight and then you can connect that to the same size weight with the hook on it if you want to tow a very very small trailer and I mean very small I'm just going to go OTT just to show two types of trailers with like two different types of hitches one's got like the through like a just, just a hole and the other's like a ball, ball hitch. So when you've got that, when you've got one of those two attachments on it with the hook, then you can hook up to anything, no problem. But yeah, so slow, it will hardly move. And that's the other type of attachment on the trailer. That one's more manageable. We're just going to buy a couple extra weights and then we're going to see if the JCB attachments work. Two more little plain weights. So there's now four weights on that, plus the rear hook. And yeah, you can connect those weights to that rear bumper, but as you can see, it just glitches out. There, there we go, there's five weights on it. And then I'm just going to show that you can fit the CZS equipment to it if it's got the skid steer attacher on it. And also the JCB stuff and that big um, tree saw. So I'm just going to buy a pallet fork and the log fork and we're going to see if it can manage them with the additional weight on the rear. Start with the log fork. No chance. No chance whatsoever. Pallet fork, yes, but no pallets, unfortunately, as you're going to see. I'm going to buy a seed pallet and we're going to buy a liquid fertilizer tank pallet. It will not, it will not be able to lift them up. I'm, I don't know what the actual limit is on how many attachments you can have front or back. I'm not going to add any more. Five weights should be more than enough. And if it can't even lift up a simple pallet, 
it is a very useless vehicle in my opinion. Liquid fertiliser is going to be a lot heavier. No chance. Not even attempting to lift it. It's such a weird machine that I cannot picture this on any farm in any country. I could picture it in a very small warehouse, but that's about it. So it fits to the CZS, but it's a little bit unstable. And I was just having an argument with that, trying to get it round the right way. That's the tree saw, and just, it just about manages to keep balance with the tree saw, but it will keep tipping. It'd be rude not to. I've never actually tested this tree saw out before, so I'm just going to cut down a tree with it. So yeah, pretty much the only attachment that is useful for this is the little bucket that comes with it. All of the other attachments from JCB and the others, they're just too heavy and they won't make it very stable. And if you can, if you look at the rear weights, you see how, like, the more you add, the more it sort of makes a curve in them. <laughs> they were even wobbling them when I stopped, that's funny. And in the mowers category, there's a mower attachment for it. All choices of colours, and there's a float or static option. I couldn't even imagine this towing the smallest little trailer in the game. But it's nice to have a little hook on it if you need to move something out of the way. That's something the JCB skid steers don't have as a rear hook. Turn the mower on. And it doesn't drop it, it collects it. There's a couple of controls for it. You can open the main emptying hatch. And you can also make the wheels sort of lower and raise a bit by holding the two bumper buttons down and moving the right analogue stick left to right. see it filling up, which is really cool. When you're ready to empty it, you just tip it upside down and it will empty. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please drop a like and if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on future farming simulator videos, mod videos and all the rest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.